brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. Welcome back. Many people struggle with their weight. Late night infomercials promising to recreate your figure, giving you rock hard abs and perfectly sculpted bod. Those fad diets promise that swearing off carbs and starch or only drinking liquid will give you the results you see on television. Weight loss can be extremely difficult and with a new year many of you like me are looking to shed the pounds and get a healthy start to the new year. Fortunately we have Dr. Yet Kalam from Express Care here to give us some tips about weight loss. Thanks Doc for coming in. Thank you. What are some tips for losing weight? Well, I think there are so many tips, but the main ones would be to understand what is happening here. In our body, we have a balance of energy coming in through our food and energy going out through our activity. So anytime you really are committed to losing weight, you're gonna do two things. You're going to observe your diet and change what you're eating, mostly eat less. And the second thing you're gonna do is increase your output, meaning exercise more. So you need to diet and exercise, not just one or the other, to be successful. Okay, how can I lose weight and keep it off? Okay, so you begin with the end in mind. The end is you, you've, you've achieved your certain body weight that you want to achieve, and you're gonna stay there. So with that end, you're not going pound by pound, week by week. You already have that goal that you're trying to achieve and that is where you're going to stay mm -hmm. just like climbing to the top of a mountain and then remaining there you can do this and um, when you put put that in your mind as a s specific goal you will achieve it just like driving down the street to a destination you will get there now what health risks are associated with being overweight I mean we hear all the time about uh, different diseases you can get things like that just from not being active and eating too much Correct. So the main one that we face here on Guam is diabetes, of course. Uh, weight, weight gain contributes to that. Then we have uh, heart disease. Uh, of course, weight gain raises your cholesterol and uh, tends, you tend to have more heart problems, uh, including heart attack and stroke. And then it also contributes to cancer. So people that are over, overweight have a higher incidence of colon cancer, breast cancer, and uterine cancer, just to name three. So um, definitely, then there's the effect of weight on your back, low back pain, joint pains, achy painy, so many different problems that come from carrying around that extra weight. And I often tell my patients, what if I told you to carry an extra 50 pound backpack or a 100 pound backpack around at all times, all day long, even when you're sleeping? You would think I was very cruel. And that's what you've done to your body. You're carrying around that extra weight all day long and you're getting tired from it and sick. Okay. Why is it so difficult to keep a New Year's resolution to lose weight? It's so easy to start that New Year off like I am going to be committed to this and you know the gyms are packed mm -hmm. and then sure enough you see it kind of taper off. Yeah, as human beings we love variety. Well, that's one of the things a new experience is very attractive to us. So whatever it is starting the new year we have a new, new resolution, a fresh start and then the novelty wears off okay and then we're into sort of the, the, the grind of it because this is a long-term effort. You're looking at one to two pounds per week for weeks and weeks maybe months maybe even a couple of years it's a slow steady process so what you want to do again is go back to the, the, the beginning which is keeping the end in mind and knowing where you're going to end up so steadily working towards that goal you wouldn't expect to drive from Dededo down to Marizo in one hour so or maybe less <laughs> so you know that it's going to take a certain amount of time okay is is it why is it important then to consult a doctor before starting a weight loss program actually I don't think it is important I think you can do this all by yourself there's so much information on the internet um, you can consult that but it is important important to check with your doctor if you're going to start an extreme diet of some kind, uh, mm -hmm. drinking only grapefruit juice or exercising uh, in some uh, very unusual fashion that you're not used to. And sometimes it's helpful to get some blood tests done to make sure that your thyroid is okay and that you're not sort of um, behind the eight ball that way. But uh, in general, you can do this all by yourself. And you talked a little bit about those fad diets. Are those 
Uh, you know, a lot of times what people will say, yeah, I drank grapefruit juice for three uh -huh. days and I lost 12 pounds, right. <laughs> uh, but then they end up normally gaining it back. So yes. what are your thoughts on these bad diets? Uh, well, they don't work and um, people often bounce right back to where they were, if not higher than where they were. And so um, resist that temptation. Understand that slow and steady wins the race, just like the turtle, okay, the tortoise and the hare. So you want to plan on one to two pounds per week. That's very healthy, very realistic. You can do it and slow and steady and you'll get there. Okay. Is it important to have a good uh, support system when trying to lose weight? It's very important. And I think it's incredibly important for you to have a mentor or somebody that has already been successful. Don't choose a bunch of people who keep trying to lose weight and never succeed. You want to find somebody who has done that, how did they do it, stick with them and get their tips and, and their motivation because they'll encourage you. And as far as a support group also, stay away from people who are trying to sabotage you because there are those people who will try to feed you chocolate cake uh, just this once or whatever to, to uh, break your diet or, or, or sabotage your exercise. And it's unfortunate, but it's true. So um, try to stay focused and know what your result is going to be. At one point, should someone consider possibly getting surgery or some something, some other drastic measure to reduce yes. weight? It's an excellent question. Um, morbid obesity is when you are, on average, about 100 pounds over where you should be. And uh, at that point, you are so heavy and so sort of immobile that it is very difficult to exercise and get that energy output I was talking about. So for those people, it is extremely effective to have what's called bariatric surgery. We call it not barometric, okay, bariatric. <laughs> that means weight loss surgery. And those involve sort of stomach stapling or banding the stomach where basically you are not able to take in any more food than that very tiny little stomach can accommodate. And then you will eventually lose weight and people are extremely successful with this it is um, sometimes covered by health insurance um, it's become very common uh, as a procedure so it's quite safe now and it's a great alternative for somebody who's so obese that they have many health problems from the diabetes to the heart to the joints uh, and and they're really disabled because of their weight. So that's not something that somebody should consider if you're just needing to lose 20, 30 pounds, no, definitely. No, that's okay. not for you. Well, thank you. Some great ideas for sure. We're talking about losing weight, and Dr. Lam is taking our viewer questions next when Healthy Living returns.